what's going on everybody this is john at the bumbling eddie podcast uh sorry it's been a little while since i've had uh had put one of these podcasts out but uh the world's kind of in a weird place right now but that being said that's all i'm going to mention uh as it relates to anything outside of uh what i want to talk about today so today's topic is friends and friendship uh i've had the opportunity to uh, i guess reconnect with one of my really good friends that i grew up with um you know the i guess when you when you talk about old friends and old friendships you tend to you tend to think about all the great things and uh, i've i've been very lucky to have some of the most amazing friends from where i grew up um i grew up in a town called west conchahokan uh for those of you that know it now uh we grew up there when it was poor um but the conversations i've had with my buddy <sighs> really have brought out a lot of really good, um, gets a lot of really good feelings and a lot of amazing memories. So, um, we like to equate, well, I think, I don't really know if any of us really equate it to, but if you think about the movie Goonies, that's kind of what it was like growing up where we grew up. Um, my buddy and I were talking about different things and, uh, really trying to figure out, you know, those things that really shaped us. And, and I believe that everything happens in your life for a reason. And, yeah, there's a lot of things that happen that you know some of us never really talked about. There's some things that we actually talk about uh, on the regular, and um, this kind of brought up this subject for me. And I just want to talk about friendships and and really those friendships that stand the test of time. So I haven't seen this individual probably for probably twenty plus years, and it picked up right where right where we left off. So I haven't really seen him probably since high school. Um, As I mentioned in previous podcasts, I kind of started my, I guess, my life early. I got married early. I had kids early. I bought a house early. So I'm not necessarily going to say I missed out on things, but I really wasn't there for a lot of the, um, I guess, the the early 20s, kind of maybe 20s, all 20s, and sometimes 30s. And now, you know, being 40 years old, I still people – you know, I still see people out there kind of getting crazy, but I wasn't part of that scene. Um, I don't necessarily know if he was, but I have a few friends that I think, you know, they don't admit they lived it up and still do. And, and that's great. I'm super happy for them that they got to do that and no regrets on my side. I'm, I'm sitting exactly where I want to be in my life. And, uh, so anyway, getting back to the friends piece, he and I caught up, uh, at one of our mutual friends birthday parties, probably about a month and a half ago. And, uh, we started talking about growing up and one of the things we, we talked about was all the fun times we had and the stories that we have. And, and I really want to eventually get several people on here. I'm not exactly how, sh- how I'm going to do that or, you know, how that all work out. But from my perspective, my childhood is essentially like a movie. If, if we could put all this into a movie and I'm sure everyone has this same feeling about their childhood but some of the stories that we talk about I've never heard anyone talk about before in my life um there are events where you know one of our mutual friends you know was running from someone and he literally jumped off of a probably about a 20 foot cliff and and uh you know, I'm not doing the story any justice. So I'm just going to kind of let those stories come out as they will. Hopefully I have every one of these guys on here. And, and again, um, friendship to me means people that are going to have your back no matter what. I know that I can call probably 10 people that I've known throughout my life that would have my back and they would give me what I needed if I needed it. And they also know that I would only call them if I really truly needed it. And I would hope to think that they feel the same way that they could call me for anything. So friendships are an amazing thing. I'm not talking about the friends that, you know, you meet along the way in life and they're kind of like a flash in the pan kind of deal. I'm really talking about the friendships that you've had for a long time or even for a short period of time, but it feels like you've known that person forever. Uh, I think it's super important to make sure that you let those people know how much you care about them. And if, you know, you do in fact love them, I think you should tell them. Uh, There are times where you need to be a good listener. There are times where you need to just get all of your stuff out, let that person listen to you, 
explain to them flat out, look, I don't need your opinion. I just want you to listen. They're the kind of friends I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the kind of friends that you're friends with because you're with someone. Uh, I think because we've all had situations where we thought we were friends and you might have done things with them that you haven't done with your the best friends in your life. And then something happens and that changes and you know, so be it. Um, but they're not necessarily your friends. You would you thought that they were. Not that you when you see them, you wouldn't say hello or ask, you know, how their kids are doing or how their family's doing or whatever. But I'm talking about real friends. And it could be a sibling of yours. I think, you know, I mentioned my sister who actually was supposed to be here today. Um, but we decided to change that schedule. She's an amazing friend of mine. I never realized how valuable uh, as a friendship she would provide um, to me in my life. And, and she adds a tremendous amount of value to everything that I do. I think of her as one of my best friends in the entire world. So that's important to me. But yeah, so friendships, um, that's kind of where I want to be today. That's where I want to talk about, and or I guess w- what I want to talk about. And you know, the people that are important to me, I, I have, again, maybe 10 people that I really, truly believe that if I needed something in an emergency or my mom or my sister or my kids or anything like that, I could depend on them. And this is outside of family other than maybe a sibling, but uh, it's super important to me. And I didn't realize that until late in the game, probably about a year and a half or two years ago uh, when my friends that I've had for my entire life, my best friends in the entire world, reach out to me and say, hey, how's it going? Um, You know, we heard this or we heard that. And again, a lot of that stuff is false. It's not really a big deal. But they reached out and they were asking me, you know, what they could do to help. And it was like, I don't know, let's go to our local wing place or let's go, you know, I don't know, anything. Just be there to answer my phone my phone call. So, you know, from a friendship point of view, I look back at the friendships I forged and who I am today. And I know I want to talk about friendships, but those friendships are all built off of how I grew up and, and, and where I grew up at. I mean, the stories that, you know, I talk about with my mom and my sister and oddly enough, my mom said she knew about all this stuff. And she tells me things that I know that I've never told her. But my friends and I, I mean, we used to, and during the summer, there was nothing to do. We would build a fort and sleep in the fort for, you know, days at a time. We would go home if we needed to, you know, get a shower or, you know, maybe go to baseball practice or anything like that. But um, I don't know where I would be without them. I don't know what kind of person I would be. I knew, and this is all before cell phones, and I guess towards the end of my teenage years, we had pagers which you know any of you who remember those um but we always found a way to find each other and we would be out from some you know from eight nine o'clock in the morning until sometimes we wouldn't come home for days and our parents I mean they always knew where we were because we were always around town but you know we always knew that we had each other's backs no matter what and I think that got us through a lot and from what I'm seeing now and A little bit what I see with my kids and and some of my friends and the way they talk about their kids. Friendships just are not the same. And even as an adult, uh, friendships seem to be very surfacey. That was, uh, if you heard that ding, that was my uh, air fryer stopping. But a little side note there. The, um, you know, friendships, as I was stating again, I found that in my adult life, friendships were a lot I don't really know harder to maintain is is the right thing to say, but I've noticed that they're a lot more surfacey. It's like a what can you do for me kind of thing. And I have a, a one of my I consider him one of my best friends in life. I didn't meet him probably until you know, I don't know, 2007ish, 2006, 2007. And he's just a great guy. He's he's one of them guys where I call him no matter what. He always answers. He could be in a meeting and I'll just say, hey, I'll get back to you or he'll shoot me a text. And he always acknowledges the fact that, you know, that I, I'm i calling him. I was uh, invited to his wedding um, 
and I went, and that was important to me because I think that's a big deal to a lot of people. I literally drove to North Carolina for one night, stayed there, and came back, and that's how much he means to me. So, uh, And I tell him all the time, uh, he, he opens his house to me. He opened his house to my mom and I. It's just... It's one of them weird things where you just feel like you've known that person forever. And I know that if I called him right now and said, hey, I need you here, he would drive. I mean, you know, flying right now, again, I don't want to talk about it, but flying right now is not necessarily the best way to travel. But I know he would be here in 11 hours. He would literally pack his car up and he would come. So, And I would do the same thing for him. But getting back to, you know, friendships that you've had for a long time, you know, when I – I guess met back up with my my childhood friend he was talking about the same things that I talk about on a daily basis so I tell some stories to my kids and a lot of the stories again they're 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 to the point where they're almost unbelievable um but it's exactly how we grew up we grew up again it was a very small town it was a very blue collar town um I don't really know if town is the word. I guess it's a borough. But everybody knew everybody. And if you did something wrong, you knew, you know, the cops wouldn't chase you. The cops would be waiting for you when you got home or you would get home and there would be a note. And, you know, it would be from the police and saying, hey, we saw you doing this. Don't do that again. And, again, times are very different now. But, um, you know, just wanted to kind of bring out the whole friendship piece and and really let, um, let your mind wander a little bit and, and, and think about those older times, the times when you were younger and you had like genuine friendships. Now you would fight, you would, you know, literally from a, from a boy's point of view, you, you would literally fight like fist fight each other. But after dinner, after lunch or whatever, you would end up hanging out, playing basketball or hockey or, throwing a baseball or throwing a football or hanging out down by the creek and there's just so many different things that you could do you know that we did growing up uh again some of these stories I I really truly believe that if we get these out um it, it would it's it's entertaining to say the least but from you know from my perspective friendships are just really important and it doesn't necessarily mean I have to go hang out with you at a bar or go to a sporting event with you friendship means it transcends everything it doesn't matter what the situation is it doesn't matter what may have come in between you at one time or another it really comes down to what it is and how that person made you feel as a friend and it could be male female it doesn't matter um you know I had a lot of really good friends and for me, they shaped who I am today. And I look around and I can say for the most part, the people that I associated myself with are still genuinely good people. Um, like me, everyone has, you know, their own, I guess we'll say their own issues and, and different things. But, um, for the most part, friendships are important. So to all my boys out there, if you listen to this and, and even the, the few girls that grew up in that borough with us. Uh, I appreciate all of you and and you all have really helped me become the person I am today. So that being said, I just wanted to kind of pique your interest in, in the, how you, how you value friendship and what you think friendship is and, and maybe reach out to someone, uh, and say, Hey, I was just thinking about you. And Oh, by the way, you remember when we did this, some people are gonna be like, I don't want to talk about that. But on the other hand, you may end up getting some people that are like, you know what? We need to catch up. We need to catch up. We need to, you know, sit around a, a you know, a, a fire pit and just kind of talk all this stuff out and and bring back the positivity. Because again, what we're trying to do here is be positive and try to bring out a lot of things. And and maybe even a friend that you had that you were super close with at one point, you haven't talked to them for a while, for one reason or another. They could. You know, you could have gotten a really bad fight with them. Maybe reach out because life is super short. You never know what's going to come your way. You don't know how people are going to behave. You don't know, you know, if you end up getting to a point where you're not able to see them anymore, that person's no longer here or you're no longer here. And just maybe reach out and and say hello. 
and just say, hey, I hope everything's good with you. And, and again, don't fake it. Just be genuine. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. No one's going to hold your feet to the flames. But um, think about all the good times and all the good things that those people did for you. And and uh, hopefully that will help. Um, hopefully that will help you. Maybe it will help them. Uh, and, and at the very least, nothing will change. And at the very best, you'll end up with um, a friend that you valued for a very, very long time. And that person or people come back into your life. So that being said, again, this is uh, episode five of the Bumbling Yeti. I'm going to start getting more of these out. Um, if you have topics or anything like that, let me know. And I appreciate all the listens. Um, and any of the views on Facebook or not Facebook on, uh, YouTube. Um, yeah. So any questions, concerns, anything like that? I'm working on guests, but as we all know right now, as of March, what's today? March, March 15th, 2020. We're living in a very different world, so I'm trying to maintain my distance from everyone as well as uh, asking everyone to maintain their distance from me. So um, let's see where this all takes us, but uh, reach out to someone. Say hello. Reach out to them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Call their mom's house, whatever, and uh, you know, see, if, see how they're doing or just say, hey, I'm thinking about you and um, – you know, that being said, thanks again for listening and uh, be sure to share this and ask your friends to give this a listen. And that being said, I think I said that like four times. I am done. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.